I'm Steve from This Week With Cars and this is a Barn Find Series 5 Sunbeam Alpine that I picked up a couple weeks ago. What I noticed when I was loading it on the trailer is this car has some unique wheels on it. Someone took the intersection of a wire wheel and they welded that to the original Sunbeam disc wheels and they combined it into a disc wheel that you can put onto a wire wheel car like this one. So today I'd like to take one of these wheels off, take it over to the tire machine and see how well they actually built these wheels. I'm noticing while loosening this that these straps here make it really difficult to hit this without hitting the straps. Those are really close together right there. Now our first time seeing the back side, they just welded it along here. And then they welded these straps on the front here. Let's take a closer look at what they've done here. You can see the straps here. They actually even bent that a little bit, probably so that the nut would clear them. This is a stock Sunbeam wheel. And if you didn't know, all Sunbeam wheels are date coded. And the date code is right behind this strap right here. And this one says 63. So these did come off of a different car. The car these were on were wire wheel cars, and then they must have found an earlier Alpine and stole the wheels off of it. On the back side, you can see the stitches. They did full stitches along there. First, I'm gonna put a lot of air pressure into the tire, make sure that it's round in case it had any flat spots so it doesn't give us a bad reading. Looks like it has about 58 PSI of pressure right now, so that's good. Let's put it on the balancer with the tire mounted first and see how it looks. The wheel does have some weights on it, so someone may have balanced it at one point. First, I am going to mark where the weights are so we can calculate the size of the wheel. Let's see how it balances. It's not too bad, less than an ounce off. I'll spin it again. If you watch, the wheel was going like this. So the wheel is either bent or they didn't do a very good job welding it. Okay, I have a dial indicator set up so we can see the run out at the edge of the wheel. You can see how bent up the edge of the wheel is. Now this isn't completely due to the way it's mounted. It's just showing how bent it is since it's going back and forth. And you can visibly see the edge of the rim is bent. So how would I rank what they've done here? I think I would give them a B plus. I've definitely seen people running way worse wheels than this, especially when it comes to wire wheels. Sometimes people can be really surprised when you take their wheels off their car and you put them on the balancer and they're just going all over the place. Uh, sometimes they're so bad that they're not even balanceable and you just have to tell them, hey, you, you need to get a new set of wheels. But one thing you need to keep in mind with such skinny and high profile tires, combined with an archaic suspension and a suspension that might be worn out, you might not even notice any imbalance in your wheels. The only way you're going to know if there's an issue is if you take them off and take them to your local tire shop and have them put them on their tire machine. Well, I think that's it for today. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.